Mr. President, at a time when the world is facing multiple challenges, there is renewed attention on the role of the United Nations in advancing international peace, security, and prosperity. However, never has skepticism about the United Nations' capacity to do so been higher or the external environment less propitious for multilateralism. Nearly seven decades of the work of the United Nations hold one simple lesson, and that is this. We are most successful when we adhere to the letter and spirit of the United Nations Charter basing our decisions on the widest possible consent and balancing equitably the needs and responsibilities of nations at different stages and levels of development to India. Also, on account of the fact that the epicenter of terrorism in our region is located in our neighborhood in Pakistan. Speaking from this podium yesterday, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif of Pakistan spoke of making a new begin. I reciprocate his sentiments, and I'm looking forward to meeting him tomorrow. India is committed sincerely to resolving all issues with Pakistan, including the issue of Jammu and Kashmir through bilateral dialogue on the basis of the Shimla Agreement. However, for progress to be made, it is imperative that the territory of Pakistan and the areas under its control are not utilized for aiding and abetting terrorism directed against India. It is equally important that the terrorist machinery that draws its sustenance from Pakistan be shut down there must be a clear understanding of the fact that Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India and that there can never ever be a compromise with the unity and territorial integrity of India.